Hi, I'm Captain Mike. Welcome aboard the Seamist and welcome to Thimble Island Cruise. at one time owned by someone affiliated with the original P.T. Barnum and Bailey Circus. Tom Thumb, their famous midget, used to come out here to spend his summers. And a small portion of the house is still papered with very old and priceless circus posters. This large building at this end of Pot Island was built in 1846. The Thimble Island House was the largest hotel out here. Clam and lobster bakes were offered on the weekends. Side wheel steamers stopped here daily from New Haven Harbor. Today, the old hotel is a private home. It was Captain Kidd, the so called pirate, who sailed these waters in the late 1600s, supposedly burying treasure on one of the Thimble Islands. Captain Kidd's Island to your left or port side. the original home. Unfortunately, on the 21st day of September, 1938, approaching out of the southwest up ahead of us, the 38 hurricane. No warning was ever given as it approached at a high tide, its winds some 186 miles an hour. The tide rose to the middle of the windows on the first floor, nine feet above normal. As it sped up the coast, Providence, Rhode Island reported 17 and a half feet above normal in the city streets. September 21, 1938, the worst hurricane in New England's history. You are about to go around 12 and a half acres of land known as Phelps or Rogers Island. Built and developed by John J. Phelps between 1904 and 1906. 27 rooms now in view Again, these are all summer homes. This little island off to your right side for many years had nothing on it at all. By the time they decided to build on it, the laws had changed and they were not permitted to build a house. They were permitted to build a gazebo. It's been Gazebo Island ever since. Well, folks, in just a few minutes, we'll be coming into the docking area. Please remain on board to we're completely tied up. And on behalf of the Seamist and crew, we'd like to thank you all for coming aboard. Hope you've enjoyed your cruise around the Thimble Islands.